Hey everybody, welcome to Zuber Star Shoe Review. Today we're going to be talking about the, the Air Jordan combined. Retro 5s. The 5 combined. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. You're a big Air Jordan fan. Uh, this is Jordan Michael Zuber. He is one of the biggest Air Jordan fans out there. And he's going to help me with our shoe review today. So like I said, we're talking about our Retro 5s. Uh, one of my favorite pairs are these black ones. To me, a pair of black Air Jordans are even classier than a good pair of black leather shoes. So if I'm going out for a night in Hollywood, uh, going out with some people who are dressed up at a play or a show, I'm going to opt for one of these. These are one of my number one go-tos for going out. When I'm wearing pants, it'll cover up the silver tongue here. So they look a little bit dressier. They really kind of got the shoe, tennis shoe, or basketball shoe look going on with these big tongues. Now when I was a kid, these were a pair that I wanted really bad. As most of you know, I never did have any Air Jordans when I was a kid. That's why I'm such a big collector now. That's why I make sure my boys have them, have all the Air Jordans they want. But the really cool thing back in the 90s, 90, 91, is when Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan was wearing these, was to wear the tight pants or even tight roll your pants and have this big tongue sticking out so your pants were stuffed in behind them. To me, that was the coolest thing. Because why in the world are you going to let your jeans cover up the Air Jordan symbol? I mean, we've put so much time and money into getting these shoes. Let's make sure that everybody can see them. And that was awesome about these. You could keep your, your pants tucked in behind them and uh, really showcase your shoes. So also talking about the tongue, one thing that I do know about these is this was also to symbolize Michael Jordan's tongue. Um, you know, that was his trademark, especially in the late 80s, early 90s. I mean, really throughout his career, but he was really starting to get known for it, um, sticking out his tongue on every slam dunk that he did. Also, when he was being photographed uh, from the stands, would make this tongue very reflective on the shoe. So he had a big tongue sticking out on the shoe, and he had his big tongue sticking out on every slam dunk. Now, this part here is some artwork that Tinker Hatfield integrated uh, from F-150 fighters. Being a king of the air, Air Jordan, they like to integrate, sometimes it was um, things to do with jet planes. So this little part here is reminiscent of the F-1 fighters. Now, one thing that really I was in love with as a kid was this netting. Okay, we first saw the netting mesh on the Retro 4s. Uh, so the Retro 5 was the one other year that used it. And I don't know what it was about that. Uh, it was something different than your regular Nike sign. Uh, but to me, another layer that you could see through, much like I was blown away by the air pockets, that you could actually see the air inside there, just having this mesh on the side was something that I was really drawn to as a kid. I'm not sure why, but to this day, just seeing that and feeling that is something that really excites me. Also, this number 23. Jordan really started putting the number 23 on all of his clothing items. He was really one of the first people to start putting his number on everything. And to me, just little things like this, just... Just the clear type of sole, the air pocket, some netting on the side, and an actual number 23. That got me so excited as a kid. Now you can see these are remakes. The originals back in the 90s would have said Nike Air on the back. Now they just put the Jordan symbol on it. Another really awesome thing about these shoes that I thought was really cool as a kid, and, and you can tell I've worn these a bit. As much as I'm a collector and I hate to mess my shoes up, I can't resist wearing them. Even though this clear sole has kind of yellowed out from me wearing it. Uh, that was another really, really cool thing when these first came out. They started doing these sort of clear soles, and the Jordans were the first to do that. So that's one of my Retro 5s in the original colorway. I've also got the grays here. Got all the same elements as far as the fighter jet uh, artwork. We got the air pocket. We got the clear netting on the side. We got the number 23. We got the Jordan symbol. These ones are a little yellowed out as well because I've definitely worn these. Again, as you guys know, I really like the gray colorways. I'll always go for the original colorways 
Not necessarily every colorway that comes out will I be in love with, but these ones are called Wolf Gray. The Wolf Grays I really like because again, they're gonna match with anything you're wearing. As long as I got a pair of jeans on and I got my Wolf Grays, I know I'm matching and looking slick. I'm gonna talk about my fives now. These are my first fives. The one thing I like about these is I like this black and then the red Jordan Slam dunking. I really like that. What I know is is in this remake they made his legs and his arms a little bit longer if you can see that and the difference between this because they look a little bit more skinnier in the tongue the legs right here are a little bit thinner these are a little bit thicker a little bit longer and same thing with the arm uh also i like this because i like the black logo on the back I like this 23 because it's red and then the outlining is black. So I think that looks nice. Also, you can tell it's a remake by the bottom of my dad's shoe. See how it, it used to be clear so you can see Jordan through the bottom. But mine is not clear. It's just white and had Jordan right here, not exactly in the middle slam dunking. Also, it has this red outlining up here, and then the basketball sort of gets into both the white and the red. It has my name, Jordan, almost on every shoe. That's what I like about my name is normally when you wear Jordans, you're always going to see Jordan, my name, right on the back of the, on the bottom of the shoe. If it said Michael, it'd just be my middle name. This, I like it because it looks like a Z, Z for Zuber. This actually sort of kind of makes my mind go kind of dizzy because it's one of the first shoes I saw that doesn't have that elephant skin around it in the back because it has all this um, red and black. Normally right here, see, right here is supposed to be the elephant skin, but it's, now it's just white. And it would be covering the 23 should be elephant skin. So it's a big difference between the elephant skin and no elephant skin. So that's what I got to say about my... Um, Jordans. I also got them on Christmas. The reason my dad bought me these is because we were looking at shoes for my baby brother, Alexander, and I bumped into these, but they were blue and yellow. This is, this was yellow and this was blue. And I'm like, hey dad, what are those retros? And he said, yeah, those are fives. And I'm like, oh, I like them. And then ne the next thing you know, on Christmas, I have these red and black fives. Okay, so now we're gonna do the final test that we like to do on our shoes, and that's the smell test, right? Right. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, yes, you can never get enough of that. All right, guys, well, thanks again for joining us today on our review of the Retro Fives. Be sure to subscribe, join the Zuberstar Galaxy, and become one of us. Catch more of our shoe vlogs in the future as we are gonna be breaking down everything retro in the Air Jordan world. All right, till next time, smell those shoes. So let's model those. Okay, so we got this shirt here. This is obviously a colorway that never came out. I've never seen pink, yellow, blue, retro trees. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's uh, a Retro 3 shirt because it's combining the Air Jordan symbol along with the elephant print, the elephant skin. So we got the elephant skin on here. That's why we have an elephant doing the Air Jordan slam dunk symbol. And then it's also nice and rough. It's got that elephant skin feel to it. And so this one is another one that utilizes